See Jones Broken Dreams removal on site. We have one of the biggest jobs in all of history of broken dreams. The flies are already swarming. Well, here we are in an undisclosed location in the woods of northern Maine where used to be a place, a headquarters, if you would, of fun for your rafting excursions and what not. Oh, yeah. But, uh... On this property, there's a couple of old, old international school buses. And uh, just like everything else, all the fun has to come to an end. And they're selling the property. Well, back here, we got a... 1989 international and uh, obviously no fun has been had in this one for a little while but it was just uh, pushed in the back and we will explore there's two of these buses like I said they both they want them gone and they're even willing to pay so I'm going to see what I can do as we enter. This one obviously has been uh, raped of all of its seats and there's been some living going on. A little camping, I guess. It appears that there is no key in this one, but the shifter, it being an automatic, is in neutral, and the steering does turn. So, while this one's far from starting up and running, I think it will uh, roll. And the guy that's helping clean up the property has hired me to get rid of all the junk. I already picked up a old uh, rusty Chevy pickup, just a, you know, mid-2000s, just as they used as a camp truck. But he's got that tractor over there. He says he could pull this thing out of here. The old Concord creep. Windows are open, curtains are up. Someone had a nice, quiet little camp out. Got a loaf of country white, a couple of Reese's, a couple of drinks, a little Concord grape. Nice time. A lot of dents on the roof here. What were they doing?
fun was had back in the day. Somehow the tires appear to still have air in them. There you go, 2016, the old Thomas was loaded up with all the rafters heading up to the river, getting ready to have some drinks and uh, do some white water rafting. This is also, uh, I'll show you, but it's a campground. You had everything here. A restaurant, a bar, campground. So if I can figure out a way to get these buses down to the scrapyard, obviously, they had serious fun, but I could make serious money. And I have to drag it up here. Plenty of, uh, blowouts over the years you can see them all they just changed them and pushed them to the side now i have to take all these if i can get the buses and those are all gonna have to go inside the bus which is nice because it's all weight This truck rack here, he said, get it out of here. Random little houses. Where people would wait to have fun. Hello? Nobody home. Some nice lumber. Washers and dryers. A lot of ooh, bed frames. A lot of useful items also. And uh it's all mine. All one big removal job. You could see that staging over there. That's where all the inflatable rafts would sit. They'd stack them all up. They'd back in the vans and the trailers and the buses and load everything up. Look at that. Nice little, nice little plate there. Another little hut. Got the linoleum down. Obviously the tree has Taken down the corner. But not bad. He will uh, eventually be getting a dumpster to get rid of all the non metal, just trash, which I'm not really involved in. 
just just the junk if we uh, walk right here I'll show you this is only the first little area of the place and uh, I've been given full permission to enter and exit and up there is the main building and the headquarters where you would uh, you'd go online and you'd sign up for your um, weekend or however many days you want excursion or fun trip and uh, you'd pay for it and you get one whole package of you know coming Here we are on the main camp road, comes in on the other side. And we are right over there. That's where that bus in the woods is. We come in here to another entrance to some campsites. And here is the other bus. Now this one, this one's a 94. And this was the most recent one, obviously, that they were using. Now, you can see the plate says 2020, and uh, we got a 21 inspection sticker. So, through the uh, information that I've got, through just talking to people, um, I've been informed that this bus would probably start right up. Um, the batteries went dead and, uh, they just, you know, they, they had some time where business wasn't so good and, um, they really didn't need, you know, the bus, I guess. And it just kind of sat around more than anything. It didn't get used very often. So, um, you could see just, uh, just this last summer, well, summer right now so last year there was still some camping going on and uh in fact i did i pulled out about four loads of scrap metal uh from this place over there where we were before and uh the guy said how much and i said well you know what i like this place i like the bar i like the restaurant and uh, me and my wife really like it. How about we bring our RV and just park it at one of the campsites? And he said, yep, no charge. That's good. You can have the campsite for the season. So that's what we did. And we just left it there. Um, other than a couple of times we pulled it out to go to some other places here and there. But for the most part, uh, it was parked at a campsite over there. And it was nice. We come up, we come down here, and uh, you know we'd go down to the bar, have some drinks, have some fun, some dinner, and then uh, sometimes we'd just stay the night, go back to the camper, sleep in there, and uh, that's it. You could just pull away and no worries. So it was a pretty good deal, but like everything else. Everything must come to an end, I guess.
can see this plate's got a 21 sticker on it. So a few years, this thing was cooking down the golden road. One of the bunk houses. Anyone in here sleeping? No. Just a lot of pillows and blankets. Plenty. Lots of mosquitoes. So... Not knowing too much about diesels, I know they take a lot of uh, power to start. And, uh, you know, we got just looking real quick. We get a couple of big ass batteries. Uh, the post type there, we get this screws right on. And uh, obviously, I don't have anything like that. So, thinking about just trying to run some cables in my jump box which is very powerful and just see just see if the thing even wants to do anything I don't know maybe the guy that I talked to a guy with a big rig and uh, he does some low bedding and stuff for the scrapyard and I he said, yeah, he'd be interested in coming up and uh, hauling these for me down to the scale. Um, I did check with another guy, and he said that uh, the only other option other than a low bed would be a heavy wrecker. And the price to have a heavy wrecker come up here. I don't know, we got the old blue jump pack, heavy duty cables, big blacks running.
I guess we'll just give it a little sniff in case it does anything. I, I don't know. Something going on. Something clicking. Oh. Did something, but then we lost all power. cranking yeah, give it some more juice Did something. Woo! Of course, for the one time I don't press the button, it starts. Woo! And your precious little field trip. Spicer! Don't worry, kids. We got it going. Get you to school soon. the whole woods. Oh, she purrs. Whisper quiet. Sorry, folks. It's gonna stink a little bit. Woo! Well, I got looking, I didn't realize I got a little pumper. Yeah, you just pumped that. Why didn't you tell me that? Just pumped it, the fuel came right up. He's a runner. Woo! Serious fun. Can't believe it. Fired right up. First time I ever drove a school bus before.
American Dream school bus removal. pointing that way. We got half a tank of fuel. We are charging. Got the Spicer 5 speed. Damn kids drinking on the bus. Let me out. Just a runner. Just just a smooth runner. Wow, what a shame. <laughs> 